Good morning, friends. Welcome to Economic Classes. In the previous video, we have discussed about the different classifications of price elasticity of demand. That is, perfectly elasticity of demand, perfectly inelasticity of demand, more elastic, or relatively elasticity of demand, less elasticity, or relatively inelasticity of demand, and lastly, unitary or equal elasticity of demand. Friends, in this class, we are just going to read how elasticity along the linear demand curve is going to move. That is how we are looking to this. Right? So, here we generally refer to the linear demand curve through elasticity. That is, the elasticity, elasticity along the, along the linear demand curve. Along the linear demand curve. The elasticity along the linear demand curve. Friends, you already understood about this elasticity is the change, the responsiveness of the quantity demand. So here we are taking the linear demand curve. But how the elasticity changes from one particular point of uh, point to and another particular point and that is out through the linear demand curve that is understand this very clearly in this class. Friends, you should know that what is a linear demand curve. So linear demand curve, as we know that is a common, that is a demand curve. It's on the other hand, demand curve is the graphical representation of the quantity demand and the price. And here, how do you think of it? Here, linear demand curve is little different than the demand curve. So, linear demand curve is a graphical representation of the responsiveness of the quantity demand on the and the determinants of the quantity demand. Here, the responsiveness and the determinants of quantity demand that is what we are going to check it out and through the help of a curve and that is what we are going to call it as linear demand curve. Well, then how it is going to happen here? I mean, how it is going to derive here? So let us see that now with the help of a linear demand curve. Okay? So O y axis, O x axis, and 0, and this is x, and this is y. Well, so as usual, we will take this on the y axis, uh, that is quantity demand, and the O y axis will take the price. In order to understand this, we just have to derive the linear demand curve. So I'm going to derive the linear demand curve which connects the OX axis and OY axis. Friends, we will take one basic price and the basic quantity. And this is I'm going to name as P0 and this is going to be Q0. Right? So this is the basic price and this is the basic quantity. At basic price, if I take 5 rupees and rupees 5 of a tomato, then Consumer purchases 5 kgs of a tomato. This is an example we are taking here. Alright? So, if the price from the base, if it increases further, take for example, it increases to P1. As the price increases to P1, obviously we know that the behavior of the consumer as the price increases, the quantity demand has to decrease. So then how it is going to be? As the price increases from P0 to P2, the quantity demand increases from Q0 to Q1. Okay, so we come to the next one. The price decreases from P0 to P2. If the price decreases from P0 to P2, the quantity increases Q0 to Q2. Right? So now what we have to actually see here, this is the linear demand curve as it moves upside and moves downward. And when actually the elasticity of demand will be greater than 1, less than 1, equals to 0, equals to infinity and equals to 1. And that is what we have projected up into this linear demand curve. Friends, as I have told you, this is the basic price and this is the basic quantity. So here you just see how much of percentage there is a change in the price, the same percentage it is changed in the quantity demand. That for example, if I take change in the that is what change in the percentage of price is equals to it may be one hundred percentage. The same way, change in the percentage of quantity demand again if it is hundred percentage. Now if you look at it in this, what I have written here, hundred percent, hundred percent, which are both equal. As you can see, both are equal. What we 
we are going to call it as that is if I mention some of the points here A, B, C, D and this is E and where this is D, D dash D, D, D dash is the demand curve and some of the points which are lying on the demand curve they indicate the price elasticity of demand is going to vary it's going to change from one point to another point so as I was saying at basic price P0 and that is 5 days and the basic quantity Q0 and that is 5 kgs as I was saying that price elasticity of demand to this point will be exactly equals to 1. So what we are saying like that? Because the percentage change in the price is 100 we have taken here and the percentage change in the quantity again that will be taken as 100. So both are same therefore we are going to call it as unitary elasticity of demand and which lies exactly in the middle of this linear demand curve. Well, so as if the price moves upside, that is now from 5 to 10 rupees now. If the price increases to rupees 10, then how it is going to affect? So see, if it increases to 10, then it is say for example the quantity of demand has to decrease here. So as it decreases to for example 2 kgs, 2 kgs, right? So this may decreases to 2 kgs. As it decreases to 2 kgs, then how it is going to be? Now we will just look at it here. If for example, I, I can just make it a little change in place, and that is how I just take to be 7 here, 7, okay. So add the price from 5 to 7 if it increases, the quantity demand decreases to 2 kgs, 2 kgs. Due to increasing the price from 5 to 7, the quantity demand decreases from 5 kgs to 3 kgs. Now what you are going to see, the price and elasticity of demand is going to be greater than 1. So how it is going to be, as you can just see, change in the percentage of price is going to be less than change in the percentage of quantity demand. Then it is called PD is going to be greater than 1. How you say PD greater than 1? Here the percentage change in the quantity is more than the percentage change in the price. Say for example, if it is changed 70% here and here if it is changed only 50% here, now you just see which is the percentage change in the price is less than the percentage change in the quantity demand which reversely we can say this is PD greater than 1 which means more elasticity of demand and that is what we have represented on this case and imagine if still price increases beyond to this one and as we know whatever may be the price either increases or decreases the quantity comes to infinity the quantity comes to infinity so from the basic the demand curve which moves then we can just see that the price elasticity of demand is going to be greater than 1 and if still the price increases then the price elasticity of demand is equal to infinity the same way as the demand curve moves upside if you look it into the downside if the price decreases from P0 to P2 okay, for example the price decreases for example to 2 or else say 3 rupees now if the price decreases to 3 rupees that is from 5 to 3 rupees okay so the quantity demand may increase uh, for example here 6 kg and the price decreases from 5 to 3 the quantity increases to 6 kg so now you just see now what point that we are going to derive here PD is going to be PD is going to be less than 1 how the PD is going to be less than 1 just to see that percentage change in the price is going to be uh, that is what is going to be more than the percentage change in the quantity so how it will be? You look at this, there is a change in the price 3 to 5, that is the difference is 2 rupees, 2 rupees, okay? Whereas in case of the quantity, that is what? 1 kg. If I take into the percentage, say for example, if it is a 20 percentage, and this will be 10 percentage, and just to see where the change in the price is more than the change in the quantity demand, where there is a less change in the quantity demand, and that is what it is going to be price elasticity of demand which is less than 1 alright so still if the price crosses beyond the P2 which means still it comes down if still it decreases so then we are going to call this point as PED is equals to 0 so now you just see whatever may be the price but what about the quantity demand quantity demand is equal to 0 so that is how we are going to say price elasticity of demand is going to be Zero. Friends, here we can understand it in a better way that the basic point 
of both price and the quantity, the price elasticity of demand remains same, which means how much of percentage it is going to change in the price, the same percentage is going to change in the quantity demand, and that is what price elasticity of demand equals to 1. If the price has moves upside and the proportion of the price is going to be less than the proportion of quantity demand, then the price elasticity of demand will be greater than 1, and still if it moves further, and the price elasticity of demand is equals to infinity, and the same way, the price comes down, the price elasticity of demand becomes less than 1. Why? Because the percentage change in the price is going to be more than the percentage change in the quantity demand and that makes the price elasticity of demand will be less than 1. In the same way, if the price still comes down and which comes very near to the 0, then the price elasticity of demand is going to be 0. Well, so this is how the elasticity of demand along with the demand, demand curve that we can understand it in a clear way. Well, so uh, this is what uh, we expected to come through in this class. And the remaining topics we'll discuss in the next class. Until stay at home, be safe. Thank you so much.